Welcome to Toddler Storytime. My name is Sarah Potter and I'm getting my Master's in Library and Information Science from San Jose State University. Storytime today is going to start with a welcome song where we will learn everyone's names, um, followed by a discussion of the expectations at Storytime that we'll learn through a fun song. Then I'll introduce our theme for today where we'll read two short stories um, and sing a song and do a finger play related to that theme. So our welcome song today is very simple. Um, I'll start by doing it with my own name and then I'll ask a child's name and we'll go around like that. Here we go. Let's all clap cause Sarah is here, Sarah is here, Sarah is here. Let's all clap cause Sarah is here, Sarah is here today. Now that you guys know the tune, I hope you'll sing it with me. What's your name? James. James. Let's all clap cause James is here, James is here, James is here. Let's all clap cause James is here, James is here today. Hooray! So it would go around the circle like that with each child because I think it's really important that they each get that individual attention. Wonderful. So quickly we'll talk about the expectations at story time and I think it's fun to do that with a song. I've written the song up here on the board for people that are new to story time. If you're here every week, the song should be familiar. Here we go. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, having fun, having fun. Our voices can get quiet. Or even loud. Let's try it. Story time. Story time. Awesome. So in that song, we learned that there are certain times when our eyes are watching and ears are listening, like when we're reading a story. And there are other times when our voices are loud and crazy, like when we're singing a song. Wonderful. So let's try to remember that as we go through our story time. So the theme for today's story time is pets. Wow, raise your hand if you have a pet at home. I know I do, I have a cat. Now, if you're not sure what a pet is, a pet is an animal that lives in our homes with our families. So a pet is not an animal that we find at the zoo, like a tiger or an elephant. And it's not an animal that we would find in the forest, like a squirrel or a deer. No, a pet is more like a cat or a dog. Now, I have a story that we can read about some very silly dinosaurs who are trying to find a pet for their homes. And they go to some very unusual places and get some very unusual pets before they learn where they can really get a good pet from. This book is called How Do Dinosaurs Choose Their Pets by Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. How does a dinosaur pick out his pet? Does he go on the prowl with a stick and a net? Does he head to the zoo and pick out a big cat? And what does his mom have to say about that? The end. Again, this was How Do Dinosaurs Choose Their Pets? by Jane Yolen and Mark Teagan. Parents, if you haven't heard of the How Do Dinosaurs series, I encourage you to check it out. They have great books such as How Do Dinosaurs Stay Safe that can help teach toddlers safe behaviors. Wonderful. Oh, you guys did such a good job using your eyes and your ears to listen to that story. Now, let's stand up and get our wiggles out, shake those wiggles out. Awesome, guys. Now, this is gonna be a chance where we can use our quiet voices and our loud voices to sing a fun song. This one is called um, Little Kitty Cat. Okay, get out your little kitty cat ears. Can you show me your little kitty cat ears? Awesome. Now your kitty cat whiskers. Good job and your little kitty cat feet. Nice work. Okay, here we go. I'm a little kitty cat, nice and sweet. Here are my whiskers and here are my feet. 
When I go out hunting, mice beware, or you might just get a scare. <laughs> nice job, friends. I love how you used your quiet voices and your loud voices. All right, let's sit back down, crisscross applesauce. Get out your watching eyes and your listening ears for our next story. This is Tales Are Not For Pulling by Elizabeth Verdick. This book is about how we can be safe with our pets. If pets could talk, what do you think they would say? this author. She has a lot of great books called the Best Behavior Series. Um, it's perfect for toddlers if you're trying to teach them a particular behavior. They have ones like Hands Are Not For Hitting and Teeth Are Not For Biting. So I encourage you to check that out. Okay, our last activity today is a finger play. Now for this one, we are going to call the cat and call the dog. So, Get your hands ready. Show me those hands and those fingers. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Call the cat and give her some milk. Brush her hair till it shines like silk. Call the dog and give him a bone. Take him for a walk, then take him home. Nice job, everyone. Good job, Wiggly Fingers. Okay, I can't believe it, you guys, but it's already time to sing our goodbye song. Before we do that, I would just like to remind everyone that Toddler Storytime is here every week. Um, I encourage you to come. There are different themes each week, so it's always fun to come and see what it is. Okay, our goodbye song today is to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It, and it's written up on the board if anyone wants to follow along. Here we go. It's time to say goodbye to all our friends, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye to all our friends, goodbye. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. Give a smile, wink an eye. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends, goodbye. <laughs>